Nottingham Trent University is widely regarded as one of the best up and coming universities. Giving a good lecture to students could mean the difference between them succeeding or failing at university. The information they receive in lectures is often the first time that they will have heard of anything of the subject and so what they are taught stays with them as a platform for further research into the subject. It is difficult to say what makes a good lecture. We all have our own ideas. However, we know when we have been in a good lecture and a bad one. Whilst it is the lecturer who typically manages the learning environment, it is the students who do the learning. So it is helpful to find out from students what they think makes a good lecture. It is also helpful to ask some of the lecturers that students rate what they try to do to make their lectures interesting. Today, students live in a dynamic and fast-changing world. They live their busy lives in an entertainment-rich world in which there are many distractions. Students today also have to pay for their education, so they expect to get good value for money. On the one hand, students expect to be taught in stimulating environments in which lecturers are enthusiastic and show a real passion for their subject. However, at the same time, students are only too aware that to be really inspired, they need to take some ownership of their own learning. Students want to take part in lectures rather than just sitting there passively taking notes. This is a video for new lecturers at Nottingham Trent University, giving the students perspective on what makes a good lecture as well as the lecturer's perspective and to illustrate this by showing some lecturers in action. Good handout. Clearly, make, clearly defines the points around the lecture. Maybe a bit of a slideshow with some key key points on. And then there's clear, like fairly standard speaking. Don't like you too fast when the lecturers go mad. That's about it. Good cleaner at the end. Round everything up. Talk about it next week. Off we go. A good lecture is made by visual stimulation as well as a good talker. I like it when um, the lecturers ask more questions and the lectures get more interactive. So students get more involved and it's more fun and enjoyable. I like it when lecturers use powerpoints and then put it on the VLP so I can go over it with my notes and then it's like a further referencing point for me. Uh, they have to be interesting and I quite like interactive lectures so like obviously if they just stand at the front and just talk at you I don't really like that. The lecturer has got to show interest in the topic area as well. Um, and show a sort of passion for, for what they're talking about. So if they show a passion for it and an interest then hopefully that rubs off on the students and they show the same thing. I think making the information really applicable and really applicable to them is key but also um, having your passion and your enthusiasm come through in what you're doing. It's no good kind of going into something if you don't like what you're doing in the first place. They can, they can see that. I think the key to a good lecture is at the outset making clearly communicating the purpose of the group and you meeting there that day at that time. So it's clarity about why you're there and clarity about what you intend to do in that time. That's the kickoff. That gets everybody comfortable. And then I believe it's about enthusiasm and it's about stirring the um, imagination of the students, their curiosity. All you can do is demonstrate to them how inherently intriguing this material is. I like to include lots and lots of interaction. So obviously university is about independent learning and so I feel that I'm there to provoke their thoughts and their feelings and get their input as much as um, kind of the input I'm giving them as well. Yes. Can I really end and just ask what the difference is between, between maternal and paternal absence? Can anyone else answer that in the room? Are you, what do we mean by maternal deprivation or maternal absence? Mother and paternal. Brilliant. My lectures are primarily based on using PowerPoint, um, and I suppose because that's really the done thing nowadays. Uh, so I use PowerPoint. I also use a, I'm not sure what they call it, it's a, a clicker which allows you to move through the slides which therefore doesn't restrict you to being behind the podium you can move around the lecture theatre and I think that's really important because if you're still in one place 
um, you can tend to be talking to one area of the lecture theatre. So having that freedom to go along the front, even go up the steps, uh, I think that, that helps a lot. And whenever possible, I will try and use some props or anything. I mean, it could be the simplest thing, but something that just helps the students understand certain concepts a lot easier. And um, so, yeah, I will try and use props and things whenever I can. I mean, there are those lecturers who you know <coughs> you're going to go to, you're going to get a really clear overview of what you need to know and guidelines as to what's important. So you go and you can take your notes and it's very clear and you feel very comfortable. Those are good lectures. But then there are the other lectures which are excellent lectures where, for example, you have an expert who entertains you with the conveying of expertise about their area and they basically l encouraging you that curiosity and intrigue and demonstrate to you how fascinating the area can be. It is important to reiterate the fact that there is no right or wrong way to give a lecture as each student has their own individual way of learning. The key is to make the learning experience more interesting so that the students want to learn rather than having to learn. There is no best way of lecturing. Different topics need to be treated in different ways. Different groups of students have their own preferences for how they want to learn. Um, so what do you think makes a good lecture? Well, I like it when they use like PowerPoint like with the key points on. I also like it when they give you a handout. Um, I really like it when they play videos like in between it. It gives you Yeah, breaks it up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. And it also helps you to understand what they're talking about, giving you ex some examples. Um Yeah, that's no, I, I prefer it differently. I like it when they the lecturer stands at the top and speaks to you so you've got the information and you just write it down as he speaks because like you're there in a the lecture, all you want is the information and you can write it down and then take it away for look over later. But then that's like, it's too rushed for me. Like if someone's just stood in front of me talking, like I'm writing one point down and by the time I finish that, they've gone to the next point and I've, yeah, and that's totally to gone. Up, yeah, it? definitely. I just find lectures with videos and lo lots of interaction a bit too informal because that, sh that stuff should be done in the seminar, like after or before or whatever. Um, the lectures there primarily to just get notes from seminars that's when you can talk about it that's when you watch the videos well it's good to have the um the vlp notes so that you can refer back to them after the lecture and when you do an essay as well you've got yeah, all the references exams, and yeah. books a place to start and it's more than just some notes in front of you you've got like a number of different things and especially if it's a topic that's quite hard to understand if they've given you examples like and given you some good quotes on mm -hmm. a handout then obviously that's going to help you understand this topic a lot more. Well, it must be quite hard for a lecturer to kind of get it right to please everyone because everyone wants something different, don't they? Yeah. No two students are the same, so I suppose what one thing will, one person will find really useful, another person might not. So. Like me yeah. and you, really. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a specific style which we would like lecturers to develop. I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to provide students with a more interesting learning experience and we want new lecturers to understand how they can go about providing that experience for students, particularly in terms of making lectures more dynamic, interactive and interesting. To sum up, lectures provide the students with a platform which enables them to hopefully reach their undoubted potential and go on to succeeding in later life. <laughs>